You're watching another great catfishing video from Learn to Catch Catfish with your host, professional guide, Chad Ferguson. Catfishing TV covers tips, tricks, and information to help you learn how to catch more and bigger catfish on your next fishing trip. The ultimate resource available for expert catfishing information. After watching, make sure you visit Learn to Catch Catfish. Hey, this is Chad Ferguson, Learn to Catch Catfish.com. I had a question through the website about uh, storing fishing rods when they're not in use uh, and also storing them back and forth to the lake and while on the lake. I've covered that in another video. I'm going to show you a real simple trick for storing your fishing rods um, and your line to keep them from getting tangled up. Now, what I like to do is I like to hook my hooks on the reel. The piece of plastic that comes on Abby Garcia reel, as soon as I get it, it goes in the trash. I always keep my hooks hooked on my reel right here. I don't ever use these hook keepers. I don't ever hook them on an eye. The reason I like to have them like this down low is because when I have them stored in my boat like this, the hooks are always down very low on the leg. When you hook them on the eyes and things like that, um, you know, the hooks are at chest or eye level for a lot of people moving around in the boat. I don't want to run the risk of somebody getting stuck uh, in the face or, or anywhere else with a hook. So with that hook stored on the fishing rod, uh, reel pointing inside and down very low, that's the safest possible place to keep that hook stored. So once that line uh, or hook is hooked on the fishing reel, just tighten it up a little bit and make sure you don't have any excess slack in there and then just take your fishing line and wrap it around the rod just like this with your leader. This is the leader that I'm holding right here and then, well, I let go of it, pulled out too tight. Just wrap this leader around the rod just like this several times until it's good and tight and then pull it over this eyelet right here wherever closest to you. It may bend the tip of the rod a little bit, that's okay. That stores that line good and tight so it won't flop loose, it won't get tangled up with your other rods. You can move them around and transport them, put them in your garage, in your boat shed, take them in and out of your truck, whatever you need to do safely and easily with that hook stored, pointing inside, hooked on the reel, and that line wrapped good and tight around that fishing rod and secured. To get more information on fishing for catfish, and to get more tips and tricks, go to learntocatchcatfish.com. Once you're done watching the video, go down below and leave us a comment. Tell us what you do. If you have any questions about this or anything else about fishing for catfish, let us know. Until next time, this is Chad Ferguson, learntocatchcatfish.com.